Yes, people, myself, TS here, um, just talking about the Arsenal win, um, winning 1 0 away at Burnley. And, you know, you can see in the title, it's just talking about um, the game. Obviously, Odegaard, um, his free kick goal um, secured the game for us in the end, which, um, one thing I find annoying um, from not just this game, but the Norwich game, is that. We, in these games we go 1-0 up and then it's like we invite pressure onto ourselves um, and there's definitely chances within the game we had um, to kind of kill the game off there was one that Smith Rowe had where Pepe passed the ball into him but maybe the angle his body was at he, he couldn't keep it down so then there was another one where it was onto Smith Rowe and he's, you know, he couldn't get behind the ball properly to, to um, get a proper shot off and um, some of the passing in the final third when we get to that bit right before a shooting opportunity some of the passing was a bit like luster but at the end of the day a win's a win you know we had the first you know three games three losses sitting bottom of the table you know two wins on um i believe is it we're now 12th in the league um it, it, it is what it is i was i was i'm happy with the team um ironically um that was a similar lineup i was um talking with people about I said oh you know what I, I, I was like we might as well just play part A um, Smith Rowe and Odegaard um, you know it, it's funny because to me when, when I think of those three I, I seem to think that Smith Rowe would be the more advanced player um, but it's kind of more like you know part A is more sitting but um, Smith Rowe is more deeper than, than Odegaard I you know credit to Odegaard you know he, he he scored a, um, a, a a great goal, good free kick. Um, you know, I, I thought Ramsdale did, again performed really well, uh, especially that that thing with the whole penalty thing that he, the way he he got a touch on the ball. Um, you know, on another day without VAR, that would be a penalty, and then we whether or not he saves the penalty. But but credit to Ramsdale, um, Gabriel was. Oh, Ments in the defence, Tommy Asu again, another good performance. And um, like I said, all we can do is keep winning. You know, I think uh, many fans, including myself, are not um, too sure on the manager. And for some of the, the, the opening games, it was kind of a question as to whether these players are, are playing for the manager. But, you know, at present, they seem to be playing, playing for him. Um, Obviously, we've got the cup game in midweek. And then um, Spurs, you know, it, if we go on to win those those next two games, um, it, it's more positive. And I, I, th I think um, for Arteta, who's under a lot of pressure, I think all he can hope for now is for the team to keep keep winning. You know, there's been all this talk, you know, I had to do these stupid interview and stuff, talking about we haven't seen seen the team playing together yet that's probably one of the only right comments he mentioned and you know since we've seen the team playing together we, we definitely have seen um some positives I'll, I'll agree to that but when he was talking about there isn't a target and stuff I think many fans were like well you just you just waffling mate and truth be told he was but in, in regards to the game um you know there's definitely positives I think Ben White uh, not to pick him out, but you know, a couple sloppy moments, especially that back pass, which led to that that penalty situation. And you know, hopefully he can you know get that out of his system now, uh, and he's good to go for the next game. And then the Spurs game, obviously Partey came off um, early, um, talking about he's cramping a bit, and obviously Tierney with what seems to be uh, uh, an, another you know injury to the to the catalogue um, which is unfortunate um, but, but hopefully both of them are nothing too serious and you know because they're two players that definitely um, I would say would be necessary for that um, Spurs game they're guys that would be up for the fight um, a hundred percent but from what I see at the moment it seems that we're kind of um, the spine of the team is getting there uh, I just think I'll uh, the thing we kind of need to get into now is, you know, getting the likes of a Bamyang into the, into the game more. Uh, I think if we can add that to our game, 
you know, we we can go on to go and brush teams, you know. Um, but yeah, overall, um, a win's a win. Um, if it was a scrappy win to use, a scrappy win, um, yeah, to me, it looked like a, a, um, a defensively sound performance from the, the team, barring that one odd um, error which led to the, the um, penalty situation. But other than that, the team's looking relatively solid and, you know, long may that continue. Um, feel free to let me know your thoughts on this in the comment section below. And if you haven't already done so, make sure you go ahead that subscribe button now and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.